Who is he? Zombie Iron Fist, like the majority of supers from his world, was infected with a bizarre alien plague that turned them into flesh-eating zombies. He made his first appearance in the pages of Ultimate Fantastic Four number 22 back in 2005. He comes from Earth 2149, but his mystical origins pre-infection were very similar to the main reality Iron Fist of Earth 616. This all changed for the worse though one scary day when a zombie version of the hero called the Sentry came to this dimension. The Avengers went to investigate where the dude attacked, infecting them with the deadly disease. Immediately upon contact, the heroes too turned into ravenous undead where they brutally attacked and consumed any human in their way. As the virus spread like wildfire throughout New York, we see our boy Iron Fist combat the undead, where we see him punch a hole right through a zombified black cat, but not before she could sneak in a bite on the hero in the process. While initially, those bitten even once by an infected were immediately transformed to zombies, it would appear that Danny was able to withstand its effects, or was just able to hold off the infection longer than others, as we later see him aboard the S.H.I.E.L.D. helicarrier where Nick Fury gathered the still human heroes to aid in battle. Scientists like Reed Richards and Tony Stark were charged with finding a cure and a way out of this world, while Iron Fist and the other heroes were sent to the streets below to combat the zombies and rescue survivors. While he put up a good fight, homeboy Danny was double unlucky as he got bit once again this time by Luke Cage. However, he stayed off the infection the first time though, did not work this time around, as it was this second bite that fully transformed him into a member of the Undead Legion. Man, Zombieverse Iron Fist has to be the most lucky, unlucky dude in this universe to have gotten bitten twice. Press F in the chat for Danny boys. The other resistance fighters like Iron Fist would soon find themselves on the losing side of the war as they were either infected themselves or killed. The contagion would then spread all throughout the earth, leaving the majority of the human population dead and most of the supers infected. Without much food left, Zombie Reed Richards would tap into a still very smart hungry brain as he repaired a dimensional portal Tony Stark was working on before he was infected. He used it to trick a younger variant of himself from the Ultimate Dimension to come to this world, creating a bridge between the two. Almost immediately, the Zombie Fantastic Four attacked the poor young man, but he was able to escape to the nearby sewers. Upon coming to the surface, young Reed finally thought he caught a break, only to get immediately swarmed by Zombie Iron Fist and an entire squad of supers. Before they could get in a quick bite, Danny and the others were horrified to see an entire traffic jam's worth of vehicles come raining down from the heavens, exploding and squashing several zombies in the process. The attack came from Magneto, who helped the young Reed escape back to the portal so he could go home. However, knowing that the gate was still open, Magneto stayed behind to destroy the machine, locking Iron Fist and the others in this world to starve. Furious at Magneto for what he had done, a group of undead swarmed the dude and devoured him, leaving Danny and the rest with nothing to eat once again. That is, until the gang came face to face with the Cosmic Herald of Galactus, the Silver Surfer. The chrome-plated man came to the planet to announce to the Horde that his master would soon arrive to consume it. Wanting to be the first one to consume anything, the flying zombies attacked the poor spaceman, while Iron Fist self-inserted himself into this most hilarious montage of standing around and doing nothing, such as here, 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 and here. He, he's trying so hard to contribute but he knows he's of no use. It's almost adorable. Zombie Hulk soon bursted in and put an end to the fun and games as he grabbed the surfer and bit the guy's head off while a lucky group of heroes got to nibble on the remains. The supers who got a taste of the space meat 
realize they inherited the Surfer's cosmic powers, which they then used to sadly toast poor Iron Fist and the others to a crisp, where they proceeded to eat them. Honestly, I just may feel the most bad for poor Iron Fist out of this whole series. He tried. R.I.P. little man. With the Iron Fist of Earth 2149 a toasted corpse, his variant would not fare too much better on Earth 91126, also known as Earth Z. Eventually, the zombie Wolverine and several others from Earth 2149 would find their way to this reality after completely devastating theirs. Finding himself in the streets of Tokyo, Wolverine would rip and tear into the flesh of the hand soldiers where he eventually found his way into an underground fight club. Nobody talks about fight club though, except maybe if a zombie shows up, then yeah, we can talk about fight club. Seeing that something was totally off with his friend, we see this Earth's Iron Fist who asked if Logan was alright. The hungry mutant then told his buddy he was never better as he then drove his claws right through Iron Fist's head where he brutally killed him and eight several others. Uh, yeah, definitely gotta talk about this fight club. In fact, uh, someone please call an ambulance to fight club. <laughs>